In every hospital, there are waiting rooms with little children like you, scared and anxious to find out what happens on the other side of the door. Every time the nurse comes out with a small notebook, calling out somebody's name. But that is about to change. Attention, Toto Clown, you may come in. Hello, my little friends. The story I'm going to tell you is about my little friend Peter. He is only six years old and super brave. Little Peter, be careful. Oh, do not run on the stairs. Little Peter is crying when at great speed our superheroes appear to save him and cure his bruise. And what a big bruise it was! With the magic of an x-ray, the doctors discover that little Peter's arm is broken. They will have to carry out a super treatment to put the bone back in its place. An operation! First, the nurse gives him magical medicine. But only a little spoon. Mmm, it's so good, but so good that little Peter no longer feels so much pain. They continue to the transfer, where little Peter's great adventure begins. No, no. The only ones allowed to cross the red line are people extremely equipped like me. Or do you think that I wear this outfit because it looks good on me? <laughs> Meanwhile, the parents leave and return in a matter of seconds to change clothes into an outfit identical to the clowns so they can enter that very special place where everything happens. The upper... Hey, miss! That's my line! Ha <laughs> ha! The operation room! A mask is put on the already laid down and very comfortable little Peter. One of those masks like the astronauts use, with a tube for the oxygen. But this one has a special smell. Mmm, it smells like apple. Little Peter smiles and starts dreaming of Geraldine, the dream fairy that helps little children sleep. You don't believe it? <laughs> it's true! In a surgical operation, there are two fairies who are sisters and that normally work together as a team. Geraldine and Regina! Geraldine helps little children sleep when they smell her perfume through the mask. Or when it reaches them through the IV that is placed gently on their hands. Oh, you scary cats! You don't need to be frightened, because it doesn't hurt! It's just that Geraldine always asks the nurse before to give her a magical band-aid with a miracle cream that prevents little children from feeling pain. Wanna see? One, two, three! The nurse pinches little Peter. It doesn't hurt, does it? Now it's safe to place the IV in his little hand. Geraldine, if she were an only child, she would have to work alone, and so she would need backup. The anesthesiologist would have to add super powerful medicine in little Peter's IV to fight the pain. which would make him wake up after the surgery with nauseous, confused and very sleepy for a few hours. But that is not relevant now, because that has nothing to do with what happened to our hero, since Geraldine decided to call her sister Regina. Little Peter is sleeping while the anesthesiologist, with the help of a magic needle and an ultrasound, starts to... What? <laughs> a disco sound? No! An ultrasound! Hmm, 
a little television that allows us to see inside our body, is it? Yes! And look for the exact point where Regina the Fairy is going to burst into action. She places a local anesthesia close to the nerves, where little Peter injury is, so that he doesn't feel anything during the surgery. This magical needle can be used in different parts of the body, depending on the location of each little boy's injury. As you can see, these two fairies, when working together, make little children sleep calmly during the surgery. And when it's finished, they wake up without pain, in a good mood and happy. Because at the end of the day, it was a walk in the park. Look! Little Peter has already woken up and immediately saw his parents. He's happy But what is going on with this arm? <laughs> it's kind of goofy. It's just that Geraldine has already left, but Regina always stays a little longer to compensate. After all, she always arrives after Geraldine. But then, she gets sad about leaving. And while that doesn't happen, little Peter has to take care of his arm until it gains sense. And not forget that he's in a nursery where there can be also other children. Our little Peter is a brand new boy. He learned a lot with his experience and got to know a new technology where Geraldine and Regina had the lead roles.